Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hopefully, everybody has a nice weekend coming up here and you don't work on the weekends. I mean, I'm going to try to enjoy this weekend. And don't mind this in front of you here. I'm getting PSA stuff, getting ready to go out before the end of the month. So, uh, as you guys see videos, you might see all kind of stuff laying in front of me. It's just because I'm trying to get as much out as I can before the end of the month. Um, as always, though, I want to start off by saying thank you, everybody, for the support to the channel, subscribing, uh, leaving comments, liking videos. I do appreciate it. It helps it get pushed out to more people so they can use these videos as references. So thank you. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button right down below. Um, right now, I'm also waiting on a UPS package, and hopefully it shows up. It just left my hurry of the UPS truck and went an hour north. I got some weird... Follow my delivery thing uh, through my account, so kind of uh, interesting. So I keep looking at my phone to make sure that uh, it doesn't blow up because I had a nice conversation with UPS today. Fun, 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 huh? <laughs> All right, let's get back to this at hand. So I had an email from a gentleman. He's going to take this to eBay um, with a lot more information I'm going to show you guys. You guys can dig into a lot more. I don't want to have a super long video on this because we've been talking shilling for a few videos already. But this goes into a different route of shilling, and it's really easy to catch if you start playing around with, uh, you know, people with their selling and their habits to looking at bids and everything like that. So with uh, he, like I said, he's going to take it to eBay. If anything comes of it, I'll let you know. Either way, um, I'll let you guys know to see if all the evidence goes forward. We'll actually get some people banned on there. My opinion is I highly doubt it because eBay's just making the money. They just don't care unless it happens to them. And that's my own personal opinion. Um, I just don't see a lot of support coming from them anymore. Other than as long as they're getting their money, they don't care type deal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm just curious. Maybe maybe I'm just looking at it completely wrong, too. And I always like uh, different opinions and stuff onto this. Alrighty, so let's take a look here. So, alright, I have a few, a few, uh, whatever you want to call it, different images that are going to come up uh, on the screen to show you guys a different way people have been doing shill bidding and how you can catch it. And th this is a really, really good example. The gentleman that did this did a lot of digging into. I mean, he sent me so many links and stuff onto it. it it was amazing and i really hope that something does happen about this so let me pull this stuff up here bang so we're gonna be talking about this card right here in particular 101 jerry judy playbook autograph jersey booklet 101 and i'm gonna hit this real quick here just so you guys can see the picture so you guys can see it's an NFL Shield, all right? NFL Shield 101, all right? I'm going to go back in time a couple here because I didn't want to have too many things up. So I want you to look. Here's the report of this. This one went off January 24th. Keep that date in mind, too. January 24th, first time we're seeing this card. Now, if you look, this gentleman or lady, you know, 858 feedback said, I'll pay up to $680 for it on the 23rd. That was the high bid, okay? Look on the 24th, it was maybe up to 600 This guy wanted to get more money at what I'm looking at for it. Remember this 8 at the end, all right? The 8's going to be the key here. And you'll see why here in a second. He just starts bidding it up, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, he's high bidder. So, winner of the auction, it's due with uh, 8 feedback on the 24th of January. Well, let's go ahead in time here. Whoops, I take it back. Let's not go ahead in time. Look at the dude with the eight feedback. Now, granted, comes up with different letters across the board. I don't remember which one I got this from which auction. But remember, 164, 46, 57. Okay, those are the key numbers to prove that the dude with the eight feedback is the same. All right. So I'm going to pull this up. Hey, look, different bidder ID right there, too. But same stuff. No retractions, though. No retractions. All right. So, guess what? That dude that had the 8 feedback won this, but now it's been relisted. It ended a week later, 31 January. $5, a lot less. Well, what do we see coming in here? 
Dude, with eight feedback again, right? Check it out. Same code up here. It just changes. They do it differently. There's the same stuff there again. He did not win it this time. It sold for $455. Now, I think this guy canceled this on this guy because he didn't get enough money. And I'll show you the reason behind it. This is, like I said, is my opinion on this and also what the other gentleman sent this to me. Guess what? It's back up for auction. Ends uh, in a week. Same exact item, same card. And the only reason I say this, this is the guy's feedback. Here's his name up here. This is the guy selling it. One negative. Seller canceled order because he didn't like the auction price. But it's a different card. This was a DJ Chark 101. So sometimes people will leave negatives here as well too. But I skimmed through here real quick and I didn't see anything fishy onto it. And I also didn't see anybody leaving a good feedback for that big card it sold so far out. But he has a negative feedback for canceling it afterwards. So start thinking, you start thinking. So the Judy's back out there. Is people willing to really risk the bid on that? I mean, if you really go back in time and you start searching for Judy 101s, you're going to see the two previous sold. Then you're going to come up and see there's the same one right here, and it starts running things to your mind like, why is this thing being sold again by the same person? It could be because he got no pays twice. Eh, possibly. All right, going through. I have a lot of windows up above here, so I'm flipping through them here. Justin Jefferson, 2020 Playbook Jersey Auto Gold. This went off 30 January. Well, load feedbacks here, right? Hey, here's a dude with eight feedback again, and he won it. Huh, what do you know? Same numbers right here. Go forward. Same exact card. This time he didn't win it. Same guy. 50% of bidding with this seller. And it, you can sit there and basically go through all this guy's stuff if you want to. All you got to do is go to see other items. And that's the reason why I don't want to do a long video on this. Go to Solds. Look for something that's valuable on to here. As you can see, look, there's Justin Jefferson, man, the six, 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 three of them. He had three of these. Auto golds, that's pretty impressive. Don't know if they were the same or whatever it could be. I mean, the likelihood of somebody having three of these. Well, that's, I take it back. That's playbook. Just look, playbook, playbook. Without blowing it up, I have no idea. Well, let's just find another card. There's the 101 there. There's another Justin Jefferson. Look at all these. Another playbook. Another playbook. Try to find one where we can just find something different here. Let's look at Randy. That guy there. I'm tired today, guys. I do apologize. I can't even get the name out. Oh, no eight feedbacks there. I'm trying to find the bigger ones, but if you go through his stuff, because I was clicking through, you will see that guy with the uh, eight feedback on a lot of this stuff onto here. And I would, I didn't want to have too many windows open because then I start losing track myself onto it. Oh, there's the eight feedback guy. Check it out, Jalen Hurts. He won his own Jalen Hurts. Same stuff again. Same stuff again. So. Always do your due diligence out there on anybody you're buying from that you haven't bought from before because you can really start digging into people's eBay backgrounds and seeing what they're up to. To me, my opinion of this uh, right here for this guy is he has another account and he's still bidding his own stuff. He's won his own stuff. He's put it back up there. He's canceled stuff on people. He's trying to make a lot of money off of new cards. He's just not happy with what he's getting. He wants to get more and more and more and more. You know, it, it happens. People are like that out there. To me, if I take a loss on something, hey, it was my own fault. You know, 
a bad auction, bad time, something could have happened. If I make more than the other previous ones, you know, I'm happy. It all evens out in the long run normally with it all. But somebody brought this to my attention, and, you know, it was a really in-depth. This guy went really in-depth with the stuff, and I do appreciate him sending it to me before he goes to eBay with it just so I could show everybody on this. And it's really not even just trying to bust a scammer out onto it type video. This is more of, you know, going in there and digging in because you start seeing this people selling the same card over and over and over again, and you start looking at the same person on here. You know, nowadays you have, you have to be very cautious with whatever you buy, especially off of eBay, Facebook, Instagram. Because you never know. And I just see so many things every day going on. And I actually had a message, I think it was today, saying it seemed like there's a thousand scammers out there. There probably are. There always have been a lot. And with the market now going up, it just gives people more incentive to go out there and do scams. So, And people are making, you know, you might have 10, 20 different accounts, that one person. So... Just be careful what you guys are doing out there. This was very good work by this guy, and I'm glad he allowed me to share this with it, with you all because this is another way of looking into uh, cards and seeing like why something has been sold over and over again by the same seller. And especially when you go down to being a one-on-one -on -one shield, and then you start digging into more of the stuff in the history, especially the higher-end stuff, you start seeing the same stuff going on. So... Again, everybody, thank you as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will get back to them as soon as I can. I'm going to be a little bit busy with the end of the month coming up. And that's just due to trying to get out orders and getting a store stock, prepping for the uh, auction next month and everything. So it may take me a little bit longer to get the comments right now. But I will get to everybody, even if it's just a comment. You know, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day, good week. Because I want to at least reply back because you're taking your time to watch these videos and making a comment. And I should do the same, is in my own opinion, at least take the time to read the comment and make something back to you for doing that as well, too. So we can try to have some interaction going on in the videos. And feel free, if you see other people's comments in there, you know, engage. Just make sure you're, you know, you're polite and respectful. I try to kick the ones out that are not respectful and, you know come off being really rude on to it. They could be maybe a scammer themselves. I don't know. Never know offhand. But yes, please engage with other people on this stuff and do there, you know, share thoughts and everything. Go through the comments because there's a lot of knowledge that's actually being shared and I've learned quite a lot from a lot of different people in their comments. So you'll start learning more in the hobby with that there. But again, as always, everybody, thank you. I do appreciate it. I'm going to cut this here. If you guys want to, leave some comments down there. If you need to reach me, email is always in the description, everybody. Take care. Have a good day.